Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a turquoise fox stone. So you're gonna need um, several items. I'm using turquoise color. I'm using the one by um, Primo. I'm also gonna need some acrylic paint. I'm using black paint and copper paint. This one is uh, Groom Batcher. Academy you can use um, Whatever you have this is what I have and this is a copper by deco art dazzling metallics I'm using these two type of paints. I'm using um, This mica powder by Pearl X and this is bronze antique 660 Also, I'm going to use this um, Inca gold by Viva Decker and this is um, copper also I'm going to use the speedball metal leaf and copper and also I'm gonna need this um, cosmic shimmer guide Gilding flakes. This is the one that has the copper and the gold and we're just going to use the copper So I'm gonna have to um, separate them and what else? I have this two Popsicle sticks to mix the paint and I already have my um, My primo on this containers. I find it easier to put them in the containers so when I put the, the paint, it's easier to mix. And I have these popsicle sticks and I use them to mix the paint because one is gonna have the black acrylic and then the copper and it's really easier to mix. And then I have this parchment paper so I can dump the paint, the, the Primo, the clay and let them dry. So I don't wanna use, um, dump it on the tile. So I already did that, but I'm going to show you what I did. Um, if I can find my blade. What I did was, and it's best if this um, clay is kind of dry. Not too dry, but not sticky. So what I did was I cut um, several pieces like this. Then I cut different planks like that. And then I grab one and I kind of twist it like this. And then just start taking little pieces. And it's not completely round. And just go like this. You only have to like get it to, you can just throw it like that. And then just go like this. I'm gonna just twist it. I'm gonna just take a piece and you can do different sizes bigger than the other ones. And yeah that's and I did it ahead of time because it was gonna take me uh, a lot of time to finish all this. So that's how I did it, and then just put it on the cup. You don't have to have the cup, you can just mix it here, but it's easier for me to mix everything in this containers um, than do it on the on the tiled. Yeah, I have another ones that I was cutting. And then I'm going to put the black paint on one and then the bronze on the other one. And then you want the, the clay to be dry a little bit. So just let the your clay out for a few days. And it's better because if it's sticky, it was just going to stick to your hands and it's easier to mix too. Alright, so I'm going to start with the um, acrylic uh, black paint 
And I'm gonna put some gloves because I don't want to get paint on my hands. I probably won't get them right now, but um, it's better if you have gloves. And then you need all the sticks. And then we're just gonna put some acrylic paint in here. And then just pour a little bit in there. Then close the lid. And then grab your popsicle stick and then just start mixing. And you can add more if you need to. Yeah, this process could be quite messy. Um, this is actually my first polymer clay stone that I made because I wasn't I just wasn't like very interested in it. It's just a lot of like process and the pain. I was like, I just don't want to get pain on my hands. But um, I was like, well, let's just try that. This turquoise is an easy one to make. Um, it's not that complicated. It just, just has got to use paint. Um, but I was like, why not? Let's just give it a try. And I just don't like the part where you have to sand. I don't like doing that. But that's what I was like. Well, I don't want to do anything with stones right now. But yeah, why not? Give it a try. Alright, so I think that's pretty good. I'm just going to leave this in here. Now we're going to proceed with the other one. And... Try to look, okay, here it is, I couldn't find it. So I'm using this one, copper. And this is what I have in hand, you can use another brand. And I think it's pretty because it's the metallic, Dazzly Metallics. So, <clears throat> it'll be nice and white. Then just... Are mixing. Might need more. There's a lot of variation for turquoise stone. They have one that has like the gold, they have ones that are purple. There's a little different stuff out there. You can just play around and come with the colors. Um, yeah, it's different stuff out there. I just like the copper, really beautiful color. And just keep mixing until you get it all coated. And it's so much easier when you have this, you're mixing this in here because you can control everything. Control um, the clay in here and then it's really easier. So I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to dump this on the, on the tile because you need to let this dry. Because once you start, because we're going to get everything together and then form it into like a bowl or whatever and then if you don't let this dry, it's just going to get, it's going to be a mess because it's going to stick to the glove and it's going to be a disaster. So, I'm going to move the stuff around. Um, I'm going to dump this, this in here, the black one, on the parchment paper. And I'm going to separate the clay so it dries faster. Kind of separate them. I 
I can't put them like in the middle because I gotta put one pile here and then the other one so I'm sorry if it's not showing on camera maybe just a little bit on this side because I gotta put the other one on this side but I'm just separating um, separating the this so it's it dries faster they're not like in a clump of um, all like together now I'm going to do the other one just move this thing and just dump this here and then do the same just separate them Let it, let it dry and I'll be back when it's completely dry so it could be like a little tacky but just make sure it's completely dry you don't want to be like picking it up and it's just going to be it's going to stick to the gloves and everything so we're going to let this dry and I'll be back when it's dry see you in a little bit Okay, so I'm back and this seems to be dry. This one, the black one, I don't know why it takes longer to dry, but it's a little bit, some pieces are dry, drier than others, but it's okay. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna bring them all together to con combine them all together. It's a little bit. <clears throat> This one dries faster for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the type of paint. I'm just going to mix them. mica powder just a little bit and then just keep mixing it Start adding the the copper leaf. I'm just gonna add some of these. Make sure you have um, windows are closed because this will fly everywhere. I'm just gonna add some of this and I'm just gonna grab the ones that are like the copper color I don't want the, the gold one and just start adding it in here like this just grab more <clears throat> I'm 
I'm going to keep mixing it. And just add more. <clears throat> okay, I think that's enough. I'm gonna close this. Make sure you close it because it will fly everywhere. <clears throat> and then just keep mixing it on the with the clay. And I'm gonna add more of these, the copper leaf. these mica powder like I found when you use the mica powder and if your clay is kind of wet still with the, for the because of the paint and then you add the mica powder it dries it a little bit I'm gonna just compact this together. I'm going to put on my gloves and then pick this up. Okay. Let me get this out of the way. I'm going to Pick this up and put it, um, put it all together. I just grab my parchment paper and paper, and then. I'm just compact it really good. Oops, ripping. Just here. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to grab it with my hand because this paper just ripped. And this really. Kind of messy in here. I picked it up and then she's just falling apart. I don't want to use my hands because then I'm going to have stuff all over, but it's just sticking to my gloves.
just taking all these things little by little. Just bear with me like just make sure this is I don't need to add more powder. Okay, so I think I got it. <clears throat> I should add more like of the powder, but it's okay. I got it because I wanted it because it keeps sticking to my um, gloves. And then going to add some of that um, ink gold. Let me just put this down. Some of that ink gold. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of these. I'm just gonna put my gloves. Then I'm just gonna add some on the outside. On the outside. I'm just gonna use my finger. Just put it on the outside. Make sure all this little uh, clay, all the pieces are up together. I'm just going to cover this entire thing with this Inca gold. And I think this is kind of dried out. I don't know why it was, I haven't used this in a while. Because it's not supposed to be this dry, but I guess after a while, if you don't use it, it dries out. Because I don't really use this this much. That I'll like maybe a couple times. Anyway, so. Now we're going to cut this in half. <clears throat> Let me show this is. I'm gonna get my blade so I can cut this in half. This is how it looks. And then I'm going to bring them together. And this is going to form some cracks. And this is like kind of hard because we got to make sure all these pieces are together, not like. But I mean, that's how the turquoise um, stone looks. It's just like not even parts, any stone. And now I'm going to flat this out. And I'm gonna plan it out because I want to cut um, these pieces.
and then just make sure it's flat. Okay, so I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger because I'm going to cut, I'll just probably cut it in half. a cutter for this. And then I have another cutter for it. Just want to make it um, big enough so I can cut, and then probably this one is. that's big enough to probably this one Alright, so I'm going to use this one to cut this shape. Sorry, my hair's in the shot. I just want to make sure I cut enough. Um, and just press down. This is pretty deep, pretty thick. So let's just take this out. Hopefully this doesn't fall apart. All right, it's pretty thick. And then this one, I'm going to use this one. This one I got from um, RJ Crafts a long time ago. I don't even know the name of it. And this one I got the, got the same um, from RJ, RJ Crafts as well. And this is like a rectangle um, set. So, I think this goes like this. And then just cut. Press down. And 
just push it out. Set it aside. Now I'm going to put a little bit more of that um, Inca ink, um, Gilder's Paste, Inca Gold, sorry, on both. And then I'm going to add um, some of that copper leaf on top of this too. All right, so I'm going to add and you can use this leftovers um, and put them together and then make more. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna put this on top. And just put it on top. putting some of this um, copper leaf on top of this. And I'm gonna bake this for an hour. Uh, 275 Primo recommended temperature. back to show you when it's done um, make sure you cover it cover your pieces with something a bold or anything make sure you cover it And I'll be back to show you how it looks like. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so our beat is out of the oven. And then I'm going to start sanding this. So I have a, a bowl with water and a little bit of dish soap. And I have my sandpaper. I'm going to start from 400 all the way to 3000. I'm going to have a paper towel. So I'm just going to dip this in the water. And then just start sanding this. And just go circle motions. I'm just gonna dip this in the water. So if you can see the copper leaf is going to come off. Well that's okay. 
Oh, before I um, continue with this, I don't know if I told you that, but before I put it in the oven, I make some indentations. I just went with my finger like this. Um, I don't think I told you that before I put this in the oven. Because the reason I did that is because I wanted the copper leaf to stay in those um, in those indentations. So you can see that they're not gonna come off as as much. And the size to stick in the water. the back too. And you can sand as much as you can because you want to keep this um, parts right here. Um, and of course you want to sand it pretty good so when it comes to like you got to polish it it's not going to be rough it will be really smooth that looks really good sides and the back and you can see this um, it looks really nice so I'm going to continue this because it's going to take me a while um, to do and then I'll be back to show you how to polish this See you in a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to polish this, and then I'm going to put a little bit of the Renaissance wax, just a little bit. And then I got this cloth, and then I'm just going to dab it in there. I'm just to put a little bit, just a little bit. And I have this um, Dremel that I got from Walmart, Dremel Light. Um, so yeah, this is what I have. And then this is the buffing wheel. Um, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of this. I seen other ones, they're like cotton and they're like fluffier. But this is what I, um, I came with this. But um, do you guys know anything about the other ones? I seen them, they're like, they're cotton and they're like really fluffier. Um, I don't know, but anyways, I'm not a big fan of that, but it's, it will do the job. So it has different speeds. It has from one to four. So I'm going to put it on number three. And this is going to be a little bit loud. I'm just going to grab this and then we're going to go... For some reason, if I start doing it like this, it will like scratch it. So I just go down like this, flat. And you have, you barely touch it. Okay, we'll put on number three. And then just go lightly. Like this.
and you just go up and down. And you can do the sides too. You can do the back. Good. Let me turn this off. So yeah, this is um, the process, and you don't have to use the Dremel. You can use like a cloth, and then buff it with that, um, like something like this, and just buff it. If you don't have a Dremel, and it will do the, it'll work as you know, it will, it will work fine. So yeah, this is. Um, how it looks all right so I'm done um, polishing this and you can see how nice they look and then this is the back and this is the other one and you can see the cracks um, and this is the back too. This one I made with a round cutter. Well, it's not a round cutter. It's kind of rounded. And on this one, you cannot see um, like this one, like the, how the cracks form in this one. So this one is a little bit more smooth. You can see it on here. And this is the back. And this one, I um, I didn't use a cutter. I just shaped it into this. And then I put two eye pins here and I put glue the E6000 glue and then um, I put a chain so it's like a um, small pendant so that's it um, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you um, if you have any questions write it in the comments below please subscribe to my channel so I can make more videos um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.